The use of performance-enhancing substances is not condoned in this video. Moreover, the information offered here is primarily provided for educational purposes only. Hello there, folks. It's me, your fellow steroid enthusiast. I'm here to talk about a peptide you might be interested in. Today, I will share with you all you need to know about the drug Mechanogrowth Factor. Now, you might be wondering what this is. Above all, Mechanogrowth Factor, MGF, also known as IGF-1EC, is a growth factor repair factor that is derived from exercised or damaged muscle tissue. It's called MGF as IGF-1EA is a bit of a mouthful and harder to identify amongst other IGF variants. What makes MGF special is its unique role in muscle growth. MGF has the ability to cause wasted tissue to grow and improve by activating muscle stem cells and increasing the upregulation of protein synthesis. This unique ability can rapidly improve recovery and speed up muscle growth. MGF can initiate muscle satellite stem cell activation in addition to its IGF-1 receptor domain which, in turn, increases protein synthesis turnover. Therefore, if used correctly, it can improve muscle mass over time. Several benefits have been associated with mechanogrowth factor because of its ability to activate muscle stem cells. It then increases the synthesis of proteins that are necessary for tissue growth. MGF can activate the satellite cells which then triggers fusion to muscle fibers and reparation of injury. It is an essential peptide for muscle growth and recovery. The drug improves injury recovery and increases muscle growth. This also has neuroprotective effects and is brain dysfunction preventative. The side effects of MGF are somewhat lacking, meaning official data is sparse. Pain or irritation at the injection site is the most common complaint, which normally refers to a sore or itchy feeling at the injected site. When it comes to the correct dose for MGF or mechanogrowth factor, several doses can be consumed per vial. The doses themselves are administered subcutaneously after being reconstituted with a limit of 200 micrograms per day. The nice thing about this peptide is that you can administer it either after a workout or before bed. When eating right and working out isn't enough and an injury occurs, how do you manage? By introducing mechanogrowth factor in your regimen of supplements for training, of course. This way you can increase your gain and keep your muscles intact. If you are just starting out or a seasoned bodybuilder guru, then MGF peptide is perfect for you. You'll be able to maintain muscle growth improve recovery time, and keep your brain functioning at optimal levels. For optimal results, many will supplement with MGF for 4 weeks and then IGF-1 for 4 weeks. Normally, IGF-1 UR3 or IGF-1 DES. Using both MGF and IGF-1 at the same time, on the same day, would prove counterproductive as they would compete with each other for receptors. However, some individuals have reported using IGF-1 and MGF on alternating days to avoid blunting the effect of each other. Unfortunately, data is not fully conclusive in terms of what's officially the most effective. That's all there is to it, you guys. Before deciding to use anabolic steroids, talk to your doctor. Until then, take care.